We start with the addition of more monoclonal antibody sites in the Bay Area. The first one is at Lakes Church in Lakeland. It's open daily from 9 in the morning until 5 in the evening. That site should be able to handle about 300 patients a day. And if the demand goes up, Governor Ron DeSantis says they can handle it. That second site is at Manatee Memorial Hospital in Bradenton. You don't have to pay for treatment at either facility. Anyone who's tested positive for COVID-19 can go to either site. I can just tell you on the sites we've done already, uh, we've got a whole bunch of really good stories of people who got it, fever spikes, start to develop symptoms, they go in and, uh, and they've had resolution. A lot of them have had resolution. Now there are monoclonal sites in Hillsborough, Manatee, Pasco, Pinellas, and Polk counties. And by the middle of next week, the state will have almost two dozen sites. As the state expands their efforts to help COVID-19 patients, the demand continues to grow. People have been reporting long lines at the site in Hillsborough County since it opened yesterday. Tonight, ABC Action News reporter McKenna King talks with a woman about her experience getting treatment. Yesterday, um, it didn't go well. Um, the Lines were long, they weren't moving. I had an appointment yesterday and um, I waited probably an hour and a half and didn't really move. A bit of a rough start on opening day at the Hillsborough County site. Pictures sent to us by a patient show long lines of people, some of them waiting on the floor. We've blurred the faces to protect their identity. Kelly Wilson left without receiving the treatment on Friday and instead came back first thing Saturday morning. Yesterday was a concern. Today, it was not a concern. Today, um, they had the chairs spaced out. There were workers sanitizing everything as people moved up. She got the treatment Saturday, along with dozens of others at the Hillsborough County site. One of several sites the governor has announced in the last few days. Probably by the middle of this week, uh, you're going to end up with uh, upwards of 21 sites around the state. Each site set to offer 320 treatments each day in an effort to keep people out of our hospitals. This is early treatment that has been proven uh, to reduce the risk of hospitalization by 70 percent. Doctors across the state are recommending it too. Asking people to get tested quickly if you have COVID related symptoms then go get the Regeneron treatment. Day three is better than day seven. And some people make the mistake of, let me see if I feel bad and then see if I need to go see a doctor. And that's actually the wrong thing to do, particularly if you're in a high risk category. Regeneron is offered at many hospitals through physician referral, or you can get it at one of the state sites without a referral. And it's all free of charge. It's a lot easier to get, I think, than people know or realize. Doctors and the governor still reminding people Regeneron does not replace vaccination. The fact that this is here should not mean that you don't get vaccinated, but the fact that you're vaccinated does not mean that you may not get infected. McKenna King, ABC Action News. We know many people have questions about monoclonal antibody treatments, so we found out the answers for you with the most frequently asked questions. You can go to abcactionnews.com and look for this article on our homepage.